Glasgow is a city of culture and full of unique business opportunities. Comic book shops are easy to find and becoming ever more popular with all demographics thanks to Hollywood blockbusters, but places to hang out with friends aren't. Geek Retreat has changed this. My name is Laura Wiggins and I'm the general manager here in Geek Retreat. Stephen, who's the owner that set up Geek Retreat, um, him and his wife set it up. Because one day he just kind of realised, um, I wish there was somewhere in Glasgow I could go to play card games, read comics. And he was he was looking online with his friends for somewhere to go, and there was just there was nowhere. And he's like, Oh, why is there not? I know. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make somewhere for it. So, yeah. My name's Martin Fleming. I'm a student at City of Glasgow College. I became aware of Geek Retreat mostly through word of mouth, like some of my friends were talking about it and then I wanted to see what the big deal was. I think Geek Retreat has benefited the geek community because it finally gives people who are all into different subjects or within that type of genre to actually give them a place to go any time of the week whenever they want and people are making brand new friends because of it. My name is Alistair Brown, I am training to be assistant manager and my duties involve Basically just taking the workload off of the manager and making her life easier for running the shop. I deal with comic book subscriptions, so I put them all on the table when they come in and put them in the folder for the, sub for the subscribers so that they've got all the comics that they've paid for for the month. Um, basically I do lots of back office work that nobody really knows goes on in the place they think we all just sit out in the kitchen and make paninis and you know, serve drinks and things like that. <laughs> Working with staff is good fun. Interacting with the customers as well is quite good fun because you get to know them all because they are in, you know, a couple of days a week. Um, then you get to know their names, you get to know them, you know, you start, to you start to chat to them more often, even, you know, hang about with them outside of you working here kind of thing. Um, no, it's good, it's good fun. It's probably just getting to know everybody that's the best thing. It's great, like, I, not because I'm in every day, but I genuinely know most of my customers' like first names. The amount of like friendships, like relationships and stuff, all from people that have met in here is amazing. I visit Geek Retreat, uh, again, because it, it, there's such a sense of community um, in the place. Like, you, you can meet people who are interested in things that you didn't know would be, the people would be interested in, the same as you. And it has like really good merchandise available all the time. Some of my favourite events are probably going to the likes of Comic Con and Collector Mania and whatnot. Um, all we do is we, we really we have a stall there, but seeing everybody dressed up in different costumes is really cool. Like you have people dressed up, you know, from movies or people dressed up from games franchises or anime or whatever it may be, kind of thing. And how everybody just how everybody just goes out their way for that, you know, that one day a year to really make the the whole thing a great success. Most of the people behind you in the cafe today didn't actually know each other until they came to events in here. Six months on they all meet each other outside of like cafe hours, social events and stuff, it's pretty great. We have different events every week in the shop, like we've got Magic, Bugle, Pokemon, um, Vicewatts, Pathfinder every second Sunday and things like that. I quite like Magic the Gathering, that's probably my favourite. Pokemon's my game, I, that's, I'm the Pokemon guy out the staff, shall we call it, so... I've been reading comic books since I was probably about five years old. Um, and the more I've got older, I start to read more mature comic books and you get more into different genres. Cinematic Universe is so big now. Um, a lot of different things have happened in the comic books that may or may not affect the universe. Certainly, I think... All the Marvel movies and the kind of reboot and stuff is definitely responsible for like geek culture being cool and acceptable in a way that it, it wasn't before. Um, so it's got people talking about it and it's got it more mainstream, which can only be a good thing. The term geek now is is beyond just liking the likes of Spider-Man and you know Marvel and DC and Batman and things like that. Also, that's what it used to be when it was maybe back in the 90s where it was like the Jack Nicholson Batman and things like that. That might have been considered geeky at that point but now because it's such a massive thing and everybody's like oh my god Marvel it's so good. There's some great writers kind of challenging their perceptions in the comic book world and I don't necessarily think it's off the back of that so like the Batgirl reboot and stuff 
is a great thing to look at. It's written by a predominantly female team and the demographic it's aiming at is to get kind of younger people and more girls engaged with comics and kind of having a dialogue. If you read a book and you watch a movie, everybody's like, oh, the book's so much better than the movie. If you read a comic and watch a movie, it'll probably be the same way about. We've got a branch in Newcastle, so we opened up Newcastle, which was pretty exciting down in September, so I managed that store for like kind of three, four months. Um, and we do, we've got secret plans for kind of like UK and world domination. So yeah, stay tuned.